Hey guys, it's Melissa and this is my channel Beauty in the Bypass. I'm currently at my fiance's house, so that is why the background looks different. But today's video, I just wanted to share kind of like a recipe on what I made for dinner today, which was cauliflower shepherd's pie. I really wanted shepherd's pie, but I'm trying to stay away from potatoes, so mashed potatoes was a no. Um, so I actually made mashed cauliflower instead, and not gonna lie, it actually came out really good. And I was kind of nervous to see how my stomach would handle it. I needed definitely more protein in my diet, so I wanted to see how I would do with ground beef. And everything went really well, tasted really good. I have a lot of leftovers, and I also made like a whole like cake size pan for my fiance too, so he's pretty much set for the week as well. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys are doing good. Just um, stay tuned if you want to see the recipe and how I made it. Thanks so much for watching. You guys have a good night. Bye. All right, so we're starting off with a head of cauliflower. Um, I think I was looking for a knife, which my fiance did not have very good knives. That one's literally missing the tip, which drives me nuts. But, you know, we work with what we can. Also, that little convection oven whatever it is is it a convection oven the little one no the little one that's on the counter that's disgusting yeah whatever it's called i don't know toaster oven whatever that thing is vile it's disgusting i hate that it's in this video but it's not ours so i guess nobody cleans it i don't know but regardless so as you can see um i'm cutting up the cauliflower Honestly, I was trying to make it like kind of small only because I need to throw it in the mini food processor that I bought for like salsa and stuff. But that's like the only one that my fiance had at his house for me to use. So we just chopping. And then I went to go rinse it out. And then I needed to cut an onion, obviously. So it's going to take a hot minute because she dicing it. You know what? I haven't cooked in like a long time. So I feel like when I cook, like I don't even know how to like hold a knife. I don't know how to cut properly. I don't know what the hell is happening. So if you see me doing things that just don't look safe, it's probably not because I just, I don't know. Also, I was in a lot of pain. I'm not going to lie to you. So everything I was doing was like really slow. Some of it probably a little half ass. I don't know. But regardless i was making food so i should be happy about that because pretty much everything i've been having was either bought from somewhere or like you know already made food that i just have to heat up from like a can or something so she's still dicing some onions and i'm still looking at that convection oven wanting to vomit i might have to clean that just because that's gross and if i make a video on this again i really don't want that visible anyways the onions are finally done and in the pan oh and apparently I put some olive oil in there just a little bit okay and we go and stir it around let it cook that was one whole onion probably about two tablespoons of oil and we're still stirring and letting it cook i swear that took like literally like 10 minutes to soften or like maybe it was five and i'm just drama then i just added one large spoonful of minced garlic that is from like sam's club and we're stirring again in the background in the pot on the left um is the cauliflower because i'm making cauliflower mashed potatoes the recipe for that is going to be in a different video because i didn't want to keep moving the camera so then we got the hamburger 90 percent lean 10 percent fat delicious leanest meat i ever bought in my life but you know because yeah okay so i use this spatula literally scraper whatever the hell you want to call it um to break up the hamburger it was good while i was doing the onions but that hamburger was like too hard for that so then she switched to a wooden spoon and yes i am holding it weird just because you know 
I'm kind of weak right now, so I needed the extra stability. Um, but yeah, that meat that I bought with this new bypass stomach, um, we have to have low fat and low sugar or no sugar added stuff. So that's why I had to get some super lean meat, which barely had any fat once it was thoroughly cooked, which was nice. So I'm beating the heck out of that hamburger because usually when my fiance makes hamburger, his bits are like really small versus usually I like mine like super chunky because um, I love meat. But because my stomach can't handle things, I was trying to get it like kind of small. And then you can see me straining the cauliflower in the background so I can do the cauliflower mashed potatoes. She a multitasker, you know. With my little iPad in the back playing some BTS music because that's how. Pretty sure people in his house are like, you don't even speak Korean. Like, you're not even Korean. Yeah, you right. I also don't speak Spanish, but I'm going to be blasting some Mexican music. All right, so we stirred that. We put it to the side because I think I was working on the cauliflower. Now I'm adding four tablespoons of flour, which I honestly wanted to use cornstarch or something a little healthier, but my fiance said he had it and he didn't. So thankfully he found the flour because he almost didn't have that either. So we're just mixing that in. There was a little bit of fat from the hamburger, but I kept that in because usually when you're doing like a gravy kind of thing, you need a little bit of fat with the flour. So there's some tomato paste. I put two tablespoons of tomato paste in there. Um, that's my fiance double checking that I needed two tablespoons because I was actually doubling the recipe since I bought so much hamburger also i was making me a little container a little dish and then making him like a larger one to kind of last him a while not gonna lie as i'm doing this voiceover i kind of want some and then that is some fresh thyme because dried thyme was like literally eight dollars and I'll, and i'm talking about for like a little container like little little so i was like yeah no we just gonna go fresh and i'm gonna pick these leaves which was super annoying and tedious especially because like I was like smelling the hamburger throughout peeling these leaves and I was like yeah that's not enough time so I'm pretty sure I went in like literally three or four times to put more time on there for the flavor okay then we're adding chicken broth to deglaze the pan as the recipe has said just so you guys know I got this recipe from Pinterest um, also that is gravy I've never made gravy in a microwave um, but the instruction said can so whatever as far as the chicken broth that was one cup of chicken broth and there I go again putting in more time because like I said it just wasn't enough need all the seasoning we can get and then for the gravy that I'm gonna be adding right there um, I made two cups because the recipe called for one cup it said initially to only put half of the gravy in there so I did that honestly I've made shepherd's pie before and normally it says beef broth or whatever but this was a different recipe it was an easy simpler one so we went with that and then we put a huge bag of mixed vegetables tbh I hate lima beans or at least I did not like lima beans when I was little. So I still think I don't like them. But you know, they're actually alright. So I'm just mixing that in. Everything was super cold at that point because the vegetables were frozen. So I ended up just letting that cook down a bit. You can see it bubbling. And then we put some salt. And it is going to look like I put a lot of salt, but I kind of did just because like those vegetables needed flavor. That hamburger still needed flavor. Like I didn't season anything yet. And I'm not even going to lie to you. I think I had to go in twice to season stuff because it was like bland. That I poured so much pepper. I was like, oh Jesus. But I still went back in and added more pepper. So all that was done, cooked and mixed and heated. So we put it in my little casserole dish for mine. And after I filled that one, I ended up filling my soup or my soup, what the fuck? <laughs> filling my, I can't talk. Filling my fiance's um, casserole dish, which his was like a cake size. 
um yeah so i put the rest in his dish and then this is the cauliflower mashed potatoes they actually look like legit they look like potatoes so proud of myself um and then my fiance kept okay so my fiance always says the cauliflower smells like feet because i try to make rice cauliflower ones and i put like the one that's chopped in the freezer and every time you open the freezer it kind of did smell like feet it was gross so now we're putting on some mexican style cheese pretty sure you could just use cheddar but this is what we had on hand and more cheese i would have put more cheese if i could have but you know we're trying to be a little bit healthy not to mention the cauliflower mashed potatoes has um a cheese in there already so this is like the final product before baking and this is it after my fiance's is on the left literally like three or four times the size of mine but his had regular mashed potatoes and this is taking it on the pan it looks legit right like literally looks like mashed potatoes but it's not it honestly kind of tastes like mashed potatoes but it's like lighter which was nice the good thing is it all went down super smoothly i didn't have any issues no vomiting nothing so that was it i'll put the recipe in the description um if you guys do want to make it and thanks for watching